Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a virtual library for your classroom. It's really fun. You can add links to YouTube read-alouds or text to pictures of the books in the classroom. Um, and I'm making this video for a Facebook group that I'm a part of called Bitmoji Craze for Educators. And if you're on Facebook and you're into Bitmoji or you're just looking for a way to add some fun to your classroom, check out this group. It's awesome. Um, you'll see when we start the tutorial that I start out with my classroom already made. I have a tutorial on how to do that if you want to get started there. Um, it's on my channel, how to make a Bitmoji classroom scene but I'll put the link to that video in the comment, in the description box right below uh, where the comments are. So right below this video, check out the description box and I'll put the link there. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I make a new video. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so here's my classroom library. It's a simple scene and each of the books has a link to a read aloud. Hello and welcome back to another edition of Sam Kofa Read Aloud. So let's go back to our library and you can pick whatever books you like. And I also have a link to a read aloud form that the students can fill out every day. So let's get started making our library. Okay, so you can see I've deleted a few things here. So let's get started creating our virtual library. I'm going to go to a new Google search, type in the book title, and then I'm going to go to images on the top bar. And now I'm going to, I would like this image, this is the cover of the book, so I'm going to right click, two fingers on my trackpad, and click copy image. Now I go back to my slides and just paste it right in there. Right click again and select paste. Now I can size it down. I'm going to put my air, I'm going to choose a corner to drag it down by so it maintains the width and height and get it to about the right size to put it in my bookshelf. Looks like it needs to be just a little bit smaller. Then you play around with exactly where you want it and exactly what size you want it. Okay, you might want that just a little bigger since I've got some more space there, why not use it? And just drag it down. There we go, I like that. So now I'm gonna select the picture so it's all outlined in blue and go to my insert menu. Then I'm gonna select link. And I've already picked out a read along that I wanna use, so I'll click share, and then copy. And that just copies it right to my clipboard. So when I go back to my link, I can paste it right in. So I just used Command V or Control V to paste that in. And now it's a link that'll take me right to my read along. Um, and that's a great trick that you can use with any image or shape on a slide. You can make it into a link in that way. If you have a text version of the book that you'd prefer to refer them to, same process, insert the link to the text. And just repeat that with all your books and you've got a great virtual library. The next thing I wanna do is give them some directions. I'm gonna select an image and then search the web. Okay, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Let's try transparent cartoon bubble. There we go. I'm gonna choose this one. Um, I also like this rounded one. And whoa, that's really big, so let's just size it down. I'd like a little more space to work with, so I'm gonna get rid of that bar on the side. And now, um, so this, somehow this link transferred over to the cartoon bubble that's easy enough to fix i'm just going to click remove link and there we go all done okay so and i just checked it's still on my book so that's great okay so now i don't want this covering my bulletin board so i'm going to right click and rotate 
flip horizontally and put it right over here on the side. Okay, great. I might want it a little smaller, but um, now I'm going to insert a text box into my little cartoon bubble there. And I just choose text box on the, um, on the menu bar on the top. And then I just put my cursor down wherever I want the text box and insert it right there. And then I'm going to choose the word form or fill out your form, whatever you want. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to go right up here to the menu bar and do insert link. You can also go back to the insert menu. Either way will work. And now I have a form that I want to send a link to. So I'm going to check my share settings. And um, I do not want limit to one response selected. So that's what I was just checking on because I want them to fill this out every day over and over. And now I'm going to go to send and then link and copy. And now I can just paste that right in. And now whenever they click that link, they'll go to the daily read aloud. Um, I've made all these questions requirements so that they can't leave anything blank. Um, and that's it. If you'd like a quick tutorial on how to make the form, stay tuned and I'll do it right now. Otherwise, that's how you make your virtual classroom. Okay, so for the form, for the daily read aloud form, I'm going to go to a new tab. Type in forms.new to get to a blank form and just title it. Oh, wrong field. There we go. And then put in whatever directions you like. And then start doing the questions. So always do a name because the form does not automatically collect names. And you can see this changed automatically to short answer. If you wanted a different type of question, you can select that here, but short answer works. I'm going to make this required so they have to fill in their name. And we'll do the same for the next couple questions. Let's go to the next. Oh, forgot to make that required. Um, and then we'll just go to the next question. Okay, this one didn't change automatically, so I'm going to collect, I'm going to uh, select short answer and required, and then just continue to fill in whatever questions you like. Check your settings, make sure it's not limited to one response, and share. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.